take advantage of newer developments. Use the boons of science and technology. Well, this is the topic that we're going to discuss today. This is our series. This is the 33rd week in our series of 40 tips to 40 weeks, where we pick up those nice one-liners and management principles, which we implement for better journey of pregnancy and getting a better outcome and healthier mother and baby. So let us understand the tip this week. When you talk about newer developments in science and technology, we need to embrace it and understand its advantages. Of course, there are going to be some banes and there are going to be some uh, you know, issues with that. But we need to be smart enough to pick up the best. Well, Steve Jobs, the person behind the Apple, he actually mentioned that in this century, if there is something which is the biggest innovation, it is biology, technology and the intersection between these two. Now, this is what we need to understand. Right through the journey of pregnancy, at the beginning where we used to have the screening tests and diagnosis of problems and risks even before actually the complications happen, that is because of technology and science. We are doing simple blood tests and sonographies which help us predict complications at a later stage. Similarly, towards the end of the pregnancy, there are a lot of things that can be done and used to identify the at-risk pregnancies, intervene at the right time, prevent complications and thus save you from long-term heartburn and issues related to your health and your baby's health. So in simple words, there can be things like a sonography which is advised to you, which is going to check for the detailed evaluation of the blood flow to the baby, the Doppler flow to the baby. Now there are newer protocols available which will tell us what needs to be monitored in the baby's uh, you know, growth phase towards the end of the pregnancy. There's another very important thing that we need to know is monitoring of the baby. Like for example, now there are portable home-based devices which can be actually kept in your house and you can check the baby's heartbeats and that can data can be transferred to the mobile of us doctors. We have been using it very successfully and trust me, it is an amazing addition in our armamentarium, especially in the COVID times when the patient could not come to the hospital so often. If you want to know more, please let us know. We'll be more than happy to guide you about that. Another thing that is important is that when we are talking about the future, we need to look at the baby's future. And we need to start investing in this technology which will help us to do better. So make your house baby safe. Make, use those things that you want to know more about to make a baby safe, uh, house baby safe. Like for example, home automation system which is having a motion sensor. The moment you get up and walk, the light goes on so that when you get up in the night again and again for your baby, you do not have to go and keep on switching on your, uh, you know, uh, your lights, etc. So there is so much technology which can make your home and life easier. We have been seeing in the Western world those baby alarms and those monitors which actually are available now in India. Do not forget the importance of choosing the right seat for your baby if you are going to drive the baby back home after the delivery. Because we don't have the car seats ka funda hi nahi hai. but trust me, it is something which is of great value and great use. Well, to summarize, let me put it once again. There is one more technology which you need to know more and that is the stem cell technology. Because you'll be hearing a lot about cord blood banking and stem cell banking and you know so many more things. Is it really useful? Is it really worthwhile? Well, it is up to you to decide. But the science is definitely direct, directly developing in that direction. Billions of dollars are being invested in genetics and stem cell research. So you have to understand that this is the science of future. So how can we take advantage of it? If you want to store your stem cells, there are a lot of options which are amazingly available in our country where either you can choose from private banking or a public banking where you can store your sample but the sample which is matching any one of your family members, you, your partner, your children, your second child or your parents or your partner's parents actually can be obtained from the public banking. So in case of those unfortunate, rare, untreatable diseases where there is hardly any option left, stem cell can come to a rescue in those lucky few and that is what the science is talking about. One thing is very clear that you can store the stem cells. How much will it be useful, will it be useful, whether it will be effective is still evolving in the science and technology at this moment of time. But I hope and I pray that it does do better in the coming few decades. So once again, don't think that science and technology are a hindrance to the smooth natural birthing process. On the contrary, embracing newer technologies and the advances of the science with the primary premise of understanding natural birthing is going to give you a better and a safer outcome. Thank you.